And we are back with our demonstration of the Revosys in taxi uh, advertising kiosk. And before I boot up the PC, uh, what I want to show you, just quickly what I did, is I took the audio cable, one end, plugged it into the, um, the sound output of the PC. And on the other end, on the two RCAs left and right um, channels, I plugged into the uh, cable harness uh, for the headrest. And it's really as simple as that. Now right now what I'm going to do is take the accessory line right here and connect it to power. And what this basically is doing is as if the taxi driver came in, inserted the key into ignition, and turned the key to turn the system on. As you'll see within just a couple of seconds, system boots up, and this is uh, using a 1 gigahertz fanless processor, and so really you can't really hear it working, but the only way to really tell that it is working is the hard drive LED. And as you can see, it's extremely fast. It boots up from cold start, uh, boots up directly into desktop. And then now we have sound output. Uh, boots up into desktop in under 20 seconds, and it is ready to go. As you can see, the H, the hard drive uh, LED, HDD LED uh, flashing to show us that there is hard drive activity. Um, just to show you guys how quickly this does load up programs, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, Internet Explorer, literally within a second. Uh, Windows Media Player. And to show you guys the just a quick sound test. There we go. Just a quick sound test. So as you can tell, um, it is extremely quick. Absolutely no problem loading any type of a program. And it loads flash programs just as quickly, which is uh, what a lot of um, the kiosk programs out there um, they do use uh, they use a flash base um, and just to show you the uh, on-screen menu of this particular model you have brightness um, let's see, input auto color temperature adjustment language the on-screen uh, display sharpness uh, position of the screen contrast and the volume and that was actually just on 30 so this does really uh, get loud if, if needed um, and uh, basically you can really run any type of software on this uh, we highly recommend using any type of Windows XP compatible or Windows operating system compatible software um, we will install Windows embedded uh, with a volume license on all of these systems regardless of if you have a hundred or ten thousand systems and now I will show you that by taking the key out of the ignition it starts the intelligent shutdown process and that's basically what I just did took out the key by uh, removing the accessory lead and it will take this a uh, little bit less than half a minute and it will start the shutdown process and this is really the safe the only safe way of shutting down uh, the PC and as you can see right there within a matter of seconds it begins the process of properly shutting down and another thing I wanted to point out is um, oh, there it goes right there um, and uh, really I mean next time uh, the driver steps back in. I mean, it's just going to be the whole process all over again. Um, it has no problem running 24-7. It's been tested um, in our office. Uh, a couple of things I just wanted to point out. Um, this particular 
uh, unit does only need a Bluetooth adapter, but um, as I mentioned earlier, you can have a 3G USB modem on the back of this. Just plug it in exactly as you would any other USB accessory. Um, we can have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi internally. Uh, one great thing about the Wi-Fi is that it's, uh, it's an ultra-long range, uh, actually several kilometers of range. It's the highest powered internal uh, Wi-Fi module you can possibly have on the market. Uh, another add-on feature we can have is digital video recording also internal. Uh, what, what that would allow you to do is um, uh, allow you to install really basic cameras at uh, let's say two different angles inside the taxi for the purposes of you know vandalism or if somebody does not pay um, that's definitely a, a, a deterrent of, of the crimes um, and that's actually mandatory in a few international cities um, and uh, you know any other type of custom requirements that you may need uh, that's definitely something that we do because we are a solutions provider um, this particular system was a 1 gigahertz it used 1 gigahertz processor um, another system for example could use a fan uh, with a 1.5 gigahertz uh, processor um, it's also almost virtually silent um, a little more low cost so you know really depends on what your target price range is but um, and also the once again the production model will be using a 10.4 inch um, headrest monitor which is once again the size of more or less the plastic molding on this so it's it's quite a bit larger which is great um, because you know that's definitely what you want for you know when you're advertising um, pretty much of any kind of in any kind of media um, and you can actually have two headrests connected here um, we don't show it to you in this demonstration here, but you can have two headrests. Um, one can be just a copy of the other, or they can be two independent headrests. Um, so it really just depends on what your requirements are. But the but uh, the, the most important thing is I, I wanted to show you guys how the vehicle power supply does work um, because a lot of the people that contact us are concerned about proper shutdown and startup, and that's exactly... Uh, what uh, we are using inside this very small, rugged uh, system.